In our world, there are thousands of different types of living creature. The deserts, forests, skies, and oceans are teeming with life. Incredibly, for all the time we've existed and researched our planet, we still haven't discovered all of our neighbors. We're still finding completely new types of creature on a regular basis, especially in the oceans, where we still haven't been able to completely explore the deeper depths. The Parachelinus panorium is a new species that's been born out of the desire to tidy up a lazy naming system. For years, around the coast of Indonesia, divers have reported seeing brightly colored fish with neon fins, which are unlike any other marine life anywhere else in the world. For a while, they were just called wrasses or flasher fish, which is an accurate description of their appearance, but doesn't take into account their uniqueness. In 2016, more effort was made to study the various flasher fish, and a new, unique breed was discovered, the Parachelinus paniorum. The first part of the name describes the specific genus of the fish. The second part is in honor of the Pain family, who have financially supported research into marine life around Indonesia for years. They should be proud, it's a very pretty fish. There are no prizes for guessing who the new species of moth, Neopalpa, Donald Trump High is named after. Why somebody wanted to name a moth after the 45th president of the United States is another matter. The moth was actually discovered in 1998 but was mistaken for being a different species, which was already known about. It was only when Canadian scientist Vazrik Nazari was reviewing old work that he realized there was something new about this moth. It had yellowish-white scales on its head, which reminded him of Donald Trump's hairstyle. The scientists thought using the president's name was a great way of getting media attention, which would help him further his aim of raising awareness about conservation. He was right. If you want to be absolutely sure which kind of thrush you are looking at, apparently, you have to wait for it to start singing and listen carefully. That's what a team of Russian ornithologists found out when they were doing some research in India in 2009. Believing they were just collecting data on varieties of thrush, that were already known and understood, they were surprised to hear sounds that they hadn't been expecting. The bird they thought they were looking at, the Zuthera mollissima, has a famously monotonous song. This new thrush was melodic and tuneful. They performed further research and sure enough, it was a whole new kind of bird and a beautiful singer. It was named the Zuthera salamali, but it's now better known as the Himalayan forest thrush. It's easy to understand how we might not know about animals that live in the sea if they stay close to the bottom, but you'd have thought we'd know all about the friendly ones that come close to the surface by now. Apparently we don't. Local Brazilian scientists working new Araguai River, along with a team from the UK, uncovered a whole new species of dolphins in 2014. These distinctive blue bottlenose dolphins don't swim out to the sea, preferring to stay in the rivers. They're the first new discovery within the dolphin family in the past 100 years. Their long, thin snouts make them stand out, and because they live in muddy water, they have virtually no eyesight at all. Because they've only ever been found in this one location, scientists worry that they might be the only examples of their kind in the world, and so they've been classed as endangered and protected. In 2017, we found out that everything we thought we knew about geckos was wrong. We didn't just discover one new species of them, we found a whole 19 of them at once, all living very close to each other in a tiny 55 by 30 mile region of Burma. Biologist L. Lee Grimer took a two-week trip to the country to investigate reports of unusually covered geckos in the area and was astonished by what he found. All 19 of the new species are visibly different, varying in color from pink to yellow, with differing patterns on their backs. It's almost unheard of for so many differing species of the same animal to live in such close proximity to each other. Grimer believes they must all have fled from the same common predator some time ago and decided to carry on living where they were once they reached a safe zone. Donald Trump isn't the only famous person who's had a new species named after him recently. Hollywood legend Leonardo DiCaprio can consider himself the proud namesake of a whole new kind of beetle. The resilient beetle was found clinging to rocks beneath a waterfall in Borneo early on in 2018, demonstrating that it was perfectly evolved to survive in the conditions it lives in, 
and also that it was unlike any kind of beetle previously discovered. Unlike Trump, this creature didn't get its title because it looks like the person it's named after. The researchers who found the Gruvalinus Leonardo DiCaprioi were aware of DiCaprio's long history of making charitable donations to environmental causes and wanted to recognize his generosity by naming something after him. Nobody knows what DiCaprio thinks of the honor. You'd think a creature with a name like the Egyptian wolf has a fairly obvious identity. Its name tells you all you should need to know about it. It's a wolf and it lives in Egypt. Unfortunately for the wolf, people have been getting its identity wrong for years. Up until 2015, it was incorrectly labeled as the Egyptian jackal and was thought to be a subspecies of the golden jackal. Several zoologists had noted that it seemed to have more in common with gray wolves than it did with jackals, especially its heavy build and thicker fur, and so DNA samples were taken. Not only did they confirm that the Egyptian wolf was a new species in its own right, it demonstrated that it hadn't been part of the jackal family for at least a million years. That's a long time to wait for somebody to recognize you. Conditions in Rwanda are ripe for the praying mantis to live and breed. They're commonly seen all over the country. However, if you want to see the newest and most impressive of the praying mantis family, you have to go to Inungwe National Park in the north of the country. That's where experts discovered the bush tiger mantis in 2014. It gets its name because the way that it hunts its prey has a lot in common with big cats. That's an impressive quality for an insect to have. They're also unique because bush tiger mantis have specific roles based on their sex. Females are smaller, cannot fly, and crawl through the undergrowth looking for food, whereas the much larger males go scavenging on higher ground, using their power of flight. It's believed the national park is the only place in the world that this new species exists, and conservationists are working to protect them. The Dryococcalus australis is a curious sight. It's somewhere between a giant stick insect and a small lobster. It's also got something of a curious past. They were once a common sight on Lord Howe Island, which is a tiny scrap of land between Australia and New Zealand. They were commonly used as fishing bait by the natives, and they numbered into the thousands. Then, in 1918, a supply ship named the SS Macambo ran aground on the island, releasing black rats from its cargo, which set about the island and ate the insects. By 1920, none could be found, and it was presumed that they were extinct. However, in 2001, over 80 years later, it was theorized that some could have survived on the higher reaches of the island, where rats couldn't climb. After a thorough search, just 24 of them were found huddled under a rock on a hill named Ball's Pyramid. Scientists took a breeding pair, and now thousands of them have been bred in captivity, with eggs sent all over the world. Once called the Lord Howe Island Stick Insect, because that was the only place you could find them, they're now all over the globe. They're going to need a new name. David Bowie was a colorful and fascinating musician. He had a number of different personalities, all of whom had their own sound and style. That might explain why, when a brand new species of color-changing nudibranch mollusk was discovered in January 2017, biologists named it Joruna David Bowie in honor of the legendary performer. The most accurate description of the creature, which can be found off the coast of Cuba, would be to call it a chameleon mollusk. It's white in appearance when it's calm, but when it gets excited or angry, it turns a shade of pink or even red. There are more than a thousand known species of mollusk, and every time we start to think, we've seen every variety of them that could possibly exist, a new one turns up. The Joruna David Bowie was actually found in the National Aquarium of Cuba, mistaken for a different species. They'd been hiding right underneath the noses of biologists the entire time. If you like to keep fish and have a home aquarium, take a picture of every creature you have in your tank and make sure you can identify exactly what each one is. If you can't, you may actually have an undiscovered species of fish living with you. That was the revelation that struck people who owned orange tip crayfish in 2015. The cute crustaceans with their distinctively colored claws and tips had already been popular pets across the United States, Europe, and Asia for some time 
before it dawned on scientists that they might be a unique species. They got their orange tip name just to distinguish them from differently colored crayfish, but a detailed assessment of their genome confirmed that they were actually totally unique from any other known type of their kind. When they're not living in home aquariums, the most likely place to find them is West Papa in Indonesia, which is their place of origin. Once they were confirmed as a new species, they were named Cherax Snowden, after former CIA employee turned whistleblower Edward Snowden. Subscribe to the channel and turn on notifications, and you will be the first to know when a new video comes out. Thank you for watching and see you soon.